Every time we think mankind's family tree is complete, scientists discover another branch. Take today, when they introduced us to some new distant cousins. As Deborah Pata shows us, finding them in a South African cave was not easy. They were called underground astronauts, descending to new frontiers deep underground. So deep that only those cavers skinny enough to crawl through the cramped warren of caves were hired. Hi, Lee, it's back at base one, uh, bar bottom base, I've landed. How's it looking there? Directing the team from above was Lee Berger, oh, renowned awesome. American paleontologist. All right, go get him. Squeezing through cracks as small as seven and a half inches. Hello, hello. The cavers worked in claustrophobic conditions with over 99% humidity. The operation itself was outrageously dangerous. Just because no one died um, speaks more to our preparation than it does to the danger. Berger has named the fossils Homo naledi, which means star in a local language. It doesn't look like anything we've seen before. It's got a tiny head, an ape-like body, but arms and legs that are very, very human-like. Something completely unexpected. And we found it in incredible abundance. Berger says he's identified 15 creatures in a single chamber, and he believes they were put there deliberately after they died, which is a uniquely human thing to do. And my discovery turns science on its head. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> that they're going to fall apart as soon as I try and take them out in earnest. I don't want to breathe for her. <laughs> Is that two together? Um, it's at least one and a half. One and a half vertebrae are actually in articulation, the way they were in anatomical position in the body. Thank you so much. It's yeah. Great work. Beautiful job. Berger's discovery has been met with skepticism from some scientists who believe more research is needed to prove this was a burial site. Berger admits it's still a working theory, but he's convinced he's found a new member of the human family tree. That was a great show you were putting on there. Eh? Really? Okay. Yeah, it was fantastic. I'm very pleased to hear that. That was fantastic. Thanks. Outstanding. Berger doesn't know yet how old the bones are. He says they could be well over two million years old, which would mean this is a new species. But until the age of the fossils is settled, his critics argue it's just too hard to say what the significance is of his discovery. Deborah Pata with a story millions of years in the making. Thank you.